Hello everybody. Welcome to our little Friday get together. What a week it's been and all. I've completed my first 50 years on the planet. A very strange thing, being 50. Well thank you to everybody for all your well wishes and your birthday wishes. Do appreciate it. Been a bit, bit of a moose of a week in other ways though. A lot of real world stuff going on that's demanded a lot of time and attention. So I'm ready for a beer. And if I'm ready for a beer, why have I picked an alcohol free one? Well, basically we've got some people coming around tomorrow and I don't know who's driving. So I thought I'd get a few of these in. And uh, I did actually want to try it anyway because I've had a few alcohol free beers over the years. And back in the old days, they used to be absolutely dreadful. And then recently, there's been one or two that are okay, if you like, tasteless lager. So the Bex one, I think, is about the best that I've had so far. But well, this one is Nanny State from Brew Dog. So I'm hoping this one will actually be like beer. Now it says it's alcohol free, but it's 0.5 of a percent. So it isn't actually alcohol free but it's legally low enough in alcohol that you can sell it as pop. Quite a dark colour actually, looks like real beer. It smells like um, a modern American style IPA, very citrusy, very grapefruity in fact. That's really nice. That's really good. It tastes very much like their um, Elvis juice. But there is there is something missing. It tastes a bit watery. It's a bit thick. But it's by far the best alcohol free beer I've had up to now. So, cheers! Brew Dog from Nanny State. Now, one of the things that's been a bit of a tribulation on Monday, the Wi Fi router packed up. Uh, every now and again it crashed, as computers do, and just rebooted it. But when I rebooted it on Monday, no light came on, completely dead. So I thought I'd have a go at fixing it.
as you can see, I tried my best, but it still didn't work after that. So I had to buy another one. Uh, anyway, on to the main business, Diamond Gym, name of the video. Not simply an attempt to big myself up, it's um, a range of knives from Rough Rider. And the one I picked recently is the Rough Rider Diamond Gym Canoe. Okay, so here we have the Rough Rider Diamond Gym. There are um, a few traditional patterns that they've released in this Diamond Gym styling. We've got uh, an old style gambler there flicking a po poker chip. So, let's open the box. First thing you notice, the packaging. It comes, for some reason I cannot fathom, let me get the bugger out, in a plastic cowboy boot. So we've got the pretend diamonds on there on the lucky horseshoe, Rough Rider logo there, double R on the instep. And your knife sits in the boot. For me, it would have been far better if they'd just done a simple black slip case and they could have um, stamped the diamond logo in into the leather, and that would be much more sensible, much more use. We'll show you the logo in a minute. So, here we go. As I say, several patterns in the Diamond Gym styling. I've gone for the canoe. And at heart it is a straightforward medium canoe. We've got black bone scales, and the, the black isn't uniform, bone being an actual material, the texture of it varies and therefore the, the way it absorbs colour varies. So this side is mostly a deep grey with a pale band across the bottom, and this is all sorts of colours of grey, white, cream. I think it's lovely. Yellowish colour to the bolsters, brass liners, so two blade canoe, two back springs but no central spacer, three pins on the scales. Fit and finish overall is pretty good. This knife costs £15 and all the transitions are smooth. There are a couple of places on the back that aren't 100% flush, but certainly close enough for the quality you'd want in a budget knife. Overall size, shade over three and a half inches, 90 millimeters, thereabouts. Small blade, pen blade shape, Two inches tip to handle, 50 millimetres. We've got hollow grind, quite a large nail nick with texture in there. The Rough Rider horseshoe logo on that side, nothing on that side. Then the large blade, two and a half inches handle to tip, about 63 mil. Again, a uh, Spare point blade, hollow ground, Rough Rider logo there. And we've got some more styling for the Diamond Gym theme. Let's bring this up to the camera so you can get it in focus. You'll see this better in the slides show at the end. But we've got an etched finish there, the Diamond Gym. So just for size comparison, it's a fairly standard size canoe, three and a half inches handle. Pretty much the same as Victorian Ox Spartan, so no surprises there. The knife weighs seventy four point seven grams, or in English, two hundred and 
two and two thirds ounces. Let's try the factory edge. Get some catalogue paper. Check the focus again. So the large blade. That's very nice. It's a tiny bit toothy, I would say. But that is more than sharp enough for normal everyday use. No half stops, but nice smooth action. And the smaller blade, that's a bit sharper. Doesn't feel to have that. Oh, maybe it has got that little bit of toothiness. Oh no, it's just me being clumsy. Ooh, that's really quite good. Impressed with that. Now one thing I'm going to check, which I've got out of the habit of checking when I've been renewing, reviewing knives, especially slip joints. Uh, focus again. Blade play. Nothing at all either direction on the small blade. Nothing at all either direction on the large blade. So I think this is a winner. As I say, I could live without the etching on the big blade. But you'll see close-ups of the nice diamond badge that they've used on the handle there. I just love the colour of the scales, and I do like the canoe pattern anyway. I just don't know for the life of me what the fuck that's all about. Anyway, we'll crack on with the slideshow, and you can have a closer look. 